In this video, we will go over where to find your content after it has been imported from iLearn into Canvas. These are two very different learning management systems, so keep in mind that you'll need to give your Canvas course some extra attention before it is ready for your students. The first thing you'll probably notice is that your Canvas course looks quite different from your iLearn site. This is because your Canvas course is automatically structured by modules. In iLearn, your course was structured by what we called sections. You can think of a Canvas module like an iLearn section, but the two do not share the same capabilities. Canvas modules are much more limited than an iLearn section. The first thing you will notice after importing your content from iLearn is that Canvas has automatically organized your course content into several modules. For each iLearn section that was imported, Canvas will automatically create a unique module. A module is an organizational tool that helps structure your course content by day, week, unit, topic, or outcome. Each module will be given a title based on the title of your iLearn section, and anything inside a module correlates to what was inside the corresponding iLearn section. For starters, most of your modules will automatically be set to published. A published module means students will be able to access and see it displayed on your Canvas course. You can verify a published module or a published item within a module by the green check mark that appears on the right hand side. Anything with the gray circle with a slash through it means the item or module is unpublished, which means students cannot see or access it, similar to hiding an item in iLearn. After verifying which content is published, you'll probably notice that section summaries or plain paragraph style text cannot be added to a Canvas module. Canvas will automatically convert any iLearn section summaries into a unique page. You can access the body of text by clicking on the title of that page as it is listed inside a module. The next big change is that a Canvas module is incapable of displaying any custom text options such as colored, highlighted, or bolded text. The iLearn resource most impacted by this change are labels. After importing from iLearn, labels will automatically convert into a text header. The plain text will remain, but there is currently no way to add any colorful customization options to text headers. Text headers are useful when trying to organize content within one specific module. To add a text header, first go to the module you want to add it to, then select the plus icon on the top right. On the drop-down menu, choose text header, then in the header field, enter the text you want displayed. Then select add item. Another way to organize your content within a module is by using indent levels. You can indent any item that is added to a module by clicking on the three dots to the right of it and then clicking Increase Indent. The next change you'll discover is that all text descriptions that you set to display directly on your iLearn course page will not display within a Canvas module. The descriptions of an item like assignments, quizzes, or discussions, can be found by clicking directly on the title of that item from within the module. The description will then appear at the very top of the following page. It is important to know that this behavior does not apply to any of the external files that were added to your iLearn course. Any text descriptions set to display on the main iLearn course page for items like PDFs, images, or Word documents will no longer be connected to that file. If you would like to retain your text descriptions for specific files, then we suggest creating a page within Canvas, then adding both the text description and file itself to that page. To create a page, select Pages from the left course navigation menu. Then select the plus page button in the top right. Give the page a name. In this example, I labeled it read this dash login instructions. In the text box below, I will paste in the text description that I had copied over from iLearn. Then I will select the documents icon in the toolbar, select course documents, 
and then choose my login instructions PDF. Press save when you're done making any changes, and then you have both the document description and the document itself in one area. Last but not least, one of the most noticeable changes you'll find after importing content from iLearn into Canvas will be that any images set to display on the main course page will not display on a Canvas module. Modules do not have the ability to display the image itself. Canvas will automatically convert any image you had displaying on the main course page into a unique Canvas page. You can find your image by clicking on the title of that page from within a module. Images can also be found in the Files area of Canvas by selecting Files from the left side course navigation menu. You can find any external files or images that have been carried over from iLearn into Canvas. After importing your course from iLearn, any quizzes tied to that course can be found either listed in its corresponding module or by selecting the quizzes link from the left course navigation menu. Within the quizzes area, you will also find any choice activities you created in iLearn. Canvas will automatically convert any choice activity into a Canvas survey. They operate the same way but you may want to preview the survey to make sure the questions are formatted correctly. Similar to quizzes, any assignments that carried over from iLearn can be found by selecting the Assignments link from the left course navigation menu. Canvas will automatically place all of your assignments in one group called Imported Assignments. It is important to note that for both assignments and quizzes, Canvas carries over the original due dates from iLearn. You will want to edit each of your assignments and quizzes so that the dates align with the current semester. That wraps up this video on what to expect after importing content from iLearn into Canvas. If you want to learn more about how to better structure your course, check out our other videos and support documentation, or contact us at AT. Thanks for watching!